Toner out in the Denver chill, just 13 degrees at Kick Peyton Manning. The Toners. He's wearing gloves out there. I don't blame him. Yeah, me neither. Ravens punt, opening drive. Here comes Trendon Holiday. Five foot six, and he is coming up big. Prize. Holiday, hey, oh yeah, oh yeah, Holiday. This kid here is a playmaker. I can't understand the Baltimore Ravens. Everybody migrating to the right side of the field mm -hmm. and leaving the whole outside wide open for Holiday. Longest punt return this in playoff history. Look at all the bodies of the Ravens. He only had one guy to outrun, and now when you're able to see the paint, Baby, get the band fired up. And how about Peyton Manning? Look, he's jumping for joy. He's like, I don't have to play today. Uh, oh, look at this. Ray Lewis right now. Uh-huh. Ensuing kickoff gets the AFC Pro Bowl returner, Jacoby Jones. What are you, what's going on here? Look nervous, look nervous, look nervous. Okay, so three plays later, Joe Flacco. This tested Ravens bow on third and eight. Flacco to Tandon Doss. Incomplete, but Tony Carter called for pass interference. You know, that was great play. That was a great play. I, I to agree. Me, I agree. Just the route off, ran him out of bounds. Great play. Uh, great throw and catch here. Flacco to Torrey Smith beating Champ Bailey, who had one of the worst days of his career. One of the worst. It's probably the worst I've ever seen, and it didn't stop here, folks. This was just the beginning. Smith held to just one catch in their first meeting. Toasts the future Hall of Famer on this one. Backs, when the receiver knocks that hand off of you and takes your show inside shoulder and you pause for a second and he's able to gain ground, especially a guy that can run like Torrey Smith. How would the gloves treat Peyton on this first throw behind Demarius Thomas? A little shaky at first, but he, he snapped out of it eventually. Definitely they were, uh, he was getting used to it. You saw him constantly fidgeting with him. Here, intended for Decker, tipped and picked by Corey Graham. So the Ravens put up 14 points in 42 seconds. I don't care what you say, D. On. That was pass no, interference. And you know what? I'm what? sitting up here Watch thinking, oh, that was a great play. Now, no, okay. I have a right to the ball just like you have yeah, a right not, to the not ball. a right to his left arm, At though. this point, I'm saying, oh, <laughs> here we go with Peyton Manning. Inconsistencies in cold weather. Here we go. Peyton on third and seven. Look at the catch and run by Jacob Tammy. Hey, great catch. Folks, you want to not realize how, how hard this is for a big guy to bend his body, scoop that ball off the turf. Then on third and eight, look at the catch by Brandon Stokely, the former Raven. Gets a knee down. And the throw comes right on the money. Game plan plays a little out and up. Stokely is still one of the best to do it in the game. In that slot, I'm telling you, you can argue Welker. I'm not sure anybody else gets it I done. Love like he does. Well, I know you do. We are tied at 14 after the first 15 minutes. Second quarter, Flacco looking for Torrey Smith again. And look who gets beat again. It's the 12 time Pro Bowler champ Bailey, but this one. Too long. You know, that reminds me of the game in Houston versus Cincinnati. Yeah. But I tell you what, you cannot miss those type of plays in a playoff set. Well, here, Manning does not miss it to Decker for 32 yards. We're in the red zone. We're moving the chains. We got another first down for Denver. I like these big wide receivers. Breaking tackles, finishing runs. Next play, Manning to his running back, Sean Moreno, who beats Donnell Ellerby, his former college teammate. How many times do you see that? A stop and go <laughs> on a linebacker versus a running back. Game plan play. Great game planning by the Denver Broncos. I love it. All right, hurt his here. knee. He would not play in the second half, but that put Denver up by a touchdown. Next, Broncos possession. Matt Prater from 52 yards out. Looked like it, my golf swing. I was, well, better yet, we've got a shot of <laughs> Heath Evans' golf swing. Look at, yes. the, look at the nine iron here. Uh, oh, yeah. How do you do that? Isn't that all you do? I don't know. It looked like his plant foot was too high, too far away from the ball. A lot of things were wrong. So the Ravens trying to put points on the board in the waiting seconds, and it's Smith again. Look at the adjustment. Oh Let me tell you something. It's not too many players could make this play. Champ Bailey had great coverage. Yes. This was just a great play. You can't cover a man better than that. And who's loving it? <laughs> Sugar. Oh, Sugar. Sugar. We're tied at 21 at recess. Third quarter opening kickoff. It's mighty might. Trending holiday. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, holiday. A hundred and four yards. He's the first player ever with a punt and a kickoff return for a score in playoff history. Hey, that man. Mm. And as you mentioned, John, well, first of all, nobody's back from the set. They're all getting their hot cold. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all trying to warm up. They're cold. John Harbaugh, remember, former special teams coach? Yes. And Peyton's loving it. Harbaugh's thinking to himself, Wait a second, this is not what I taught. <laughs> now, Ray Lewis getting that digit looked at. 
when I'm ready. Right. Right. Those knuckles hurt. It, it'll go down. And it's got a, a toe that looks like you that. Got, you put a <laughs> ring on that thing, I bet it'll go down. Yeah, still managed to get 17 tackles on this day. Ben Manning has the ball stripped. Of course, they review all turnovers. They get another look at it, and Paul Kruger's fumble recovery is upheld. Should have been. Yeah, good call. Good call. That would hurt that team, though. That Ensuing Baltimore team. drive. Here comes Ray Rice. 30 carries, a buck 31 on this day. That was one of his better runs. I felt as though Ray Rice ran the ball all day, not one to fumble. Yeah, not really aggressive. A little hesitant at times, but very you know hesitant. You love the 130 yards, and you love that Coldwell got him involved because he is still the key to this offense. He is pumped up after scoring from a yard out. We're tied at 28, and Peyton's got to go back to work. They didn't like that mile high salute, though, Chris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peyton to Joel Dreesen. And then we've got a little unnecessary roughness on Jackie Brown. A horrendous call. I do not understand it. They're turning this game into a real soft heart. Look at it. It's a shoulder hit It's a first. shoulder. It's a shoulder. offensive guy. That shouldn't have been a penalty. Three plays later, Manning to Marius Thomas. No, but you see the late flag. It's called on Kerry Williams for holding. It was not holding. He did not impede his route. This is the route that he did. I don't agree it with. It. It. The shoulder just touches. Right the right shoulder right. just, he just has his hand rested gently on the shoulder. He <laughs> did not impede the route. The hey, receiver that dropped was the ball. collar tackle, Dion. Three <laughs> plays later, Manning to Demarius Thomas makes the great cut and gets away from Ray Lewis, and he is into the end zone, and Denver has a 35-28 lead. This is what makes Peyton Manning so great. He's audible. This was an audible at the yes. line of scrimmage, something that he saw. It's like having another coach on the field. Capping a 10-play, 88-yard drive. Here comes Baltimore now on third and seven. Flacco to Anquan Bolden. A team I-6 grabs for 71 yards there near midfield. Four plays later, third and five. Flacco buying time. Jacoby Joe. Oh, oh got to have that, Jacoby. Got to have that, baby. Right there, Dion. After what he went through last offseason. After a Baltimore timeout, fourth and five. They're going for it. Flacco to Dennis Pitta. And knocked away nicely by Mike Adams. I didn't like his selection of receivers that time. I, re I really didn't. So now Denver on third and eight. Couple of first downs. They're salting it away. Ronnie Hillman played very well. 83 yards for the rookie, but stopped shy of the first down. So the Ravens force a punt. Flacco now with 40 ticks to go. Third and three just launches it downfield. Jacoby Jones somehow gets behind Raheem Moore for the 70-yard touch. Blow that kiss. We are tied at 35. I want to see him dance, actually. How in the world does this happen? This is the problem right here. Third and three. The cornerback is playing cover T2. He knows he has safety help over top. Raheem Moore back pedals and not open his hip and get to the deepest point, and he falls on the play. 31 seconds left in regulation. The Broncos with two timeouts and arguably the greatest quarterback ever take a knee. We'll get to that in just a minute. So we're headed to overtime. Remember, each team gets a possession as long as the team that gets it first. In this case, Baltimore doesn't score a touchdown. On third and four, Flacco incomplete. Intended for Torrey Smith, but guess what? A flag on Champ Bailey. Throw the ball to Anquan Bowling. I don't believe that flag. I don't think that was a good call. I agree with you. I, really don't. I think that was just a great play by Champ Bailey. When you don't see the receiver get up complaining, that means it's right. <laughs> so with Peyton trying to get loose on the sidelines, Flacco really stayed pretty clean on this day. Von Miller, Elvis Duerville get the only sack for the team that led the NFL in sacks. Throw the ball to that Anquan was because of the Bowling. DB's doing their job help that side. Now Denver on third and one. They give it to Jacob Hester. He gets stuffed by T. Sizzle. Sizzle for shiz. So Baltimore gets the punt back. Flacco almost picked here by Mike Adams, who is out of bounds. Tap your toes. Find a way. Next Either play, job. after a delay of game, it's third and 13. And Flacco, who became the first quarterback this season to throw for more than 300 yards against Denver. 24 yards to Pitta and a first down. Three plays later, it's third and three. Flacco to Bolden, nearly picked by Chris Harris. So Baltimore would punt. Great play. Great play by Harris. So here comes Denver. Peyton Manning, 48 career game-winning drives on his resume. Flushed, and he wishes he had it back. Looking for Stokely, finds Corey Graham. Cardinal sin. Gets his body. Even the great ones do it. You see Stokely, 14, right there in the middle of your screen. That's his guy on third down. Pressure situations. Forced it. 
So you figure one first down, Baltimore's in field goal range, and here comes Ray Rice up the middle for 11 yards, gets a big push from Marshall Yon to the pro bowler. Which got him the first down. Yes. Now on to the second overtime, the first one in the NFL in nine playoff seasons. It's Justin Tucker from 47 to win it. Oh, the rookie out of Texas, and Baltimore continues its dance. It is not over yet for Ray Lewis. Hugs and kisses on the sidelines and on the field in an amazing, amazing game that was tied five times. There were four lead changes. No team ever led by more than seven points. And now Baltimore is off to the AFC title game for the third time in the last five years. While Denver's 11-game winning streak is over.